This 371-foot ship is heading for destiny. Release the Kraken! Named after the mythical squid-like sea monster made famous in film and in literature, the Kraken will become the latest addition to the Texas Artificial Reef Program. So the Gulf of Mexico, especially the coast of Texas, doesn't have a lot of structure, um, which makes it hard for fishermen to fish because fish really enjoy structure. So anytime we put structure out here, um, it's really good for fishermen and for divers. We're at our reef site about 65 miles out of Galveston. We're trying to maneuver into a, a deep water spot that's uh, at least 140 feet deep. The Kraken was built in 1987 in Japan as a cargo carrier. Cleaned of fuel, oil, and hazardous materials, the vessel will be a welcome site for fish once the structure becomes encrusted with plants and animals, creating habitat for fish and divers should be especially thrilled. Because we're so far out, 70 miles out, we actually have decent visibility, where if we were to sink something closer to shore, we don't have the visibility. With four large holes cut into the stern of either side of the ship, the crackage should sink by what's called a controlled flood. Water will rush into the stern, and we're hoping that the stern touches the bottom first, and all that superstructure will fill with water, and it'll bring the bow down nice and slow. With few exceptions, the floor of the Gulf of Mexico is flat and bare except for these artificial reef sites. Since the program began in 1990, the artificial reef program has documented more than 200 marine fish species that make these complex, stable, and durable habitats home. As soon as we sink the ship, there should be fish on it within minutes, which is really exciting. For Texas Parks and Wildlife, this is Karen Loke.